Hi everyone, this is Ravi. Welcome to Price and Tosca Automation Tutorial. As you all know, I have already published 38 YouTube videos covering different concepts of Tosca Automation. This is our lesson 39 in terms of overall Tosca Automation concepts and this is our lesson 24 in terms of advanced level concepts. So in this lesson, I'm going to teach you more string operation. This is our part two of string operation. So here, I'm going to teach you how can you convert the string from lowercase to uppercase and how can you convert the string from uppercase to lowercase. And also, I'm going to teach you how can you perform number of occurrences operations while automating your web application. And I'm also going to teach you how can you perform string length operation by using Tricentis Tosca. So let us first understand what is string to lower. So string to lower is an operation which converts uppercase characters in the string to the lowercase characters. And the next string operation is string to upper which converts lowercase characters in the string to uppercase characters and the next operation is number of occurrences so this operation counts all occurrences of the defined input or pattern in the string and string length it counts the number of characters in the string so now let us jump onto the system and see how can we perform these operations by using tricentis tosca so now let us first create a folder. I'm going to create a folder called string operations part two. Let me copy this folder name and then paste it here and rename this as part two. And then I'm going to create one test case called string operation. Okay. So first I'm going to call one module i'm going to add one module called set tbox buffer okay set buffer so i'm going to call tbox set buffer and here i'm going to specify a buffer value let's say let's take a string to test this is my buffer name what is the string that i want to test is Tricentis Tosca Automation. Okay, Tricentis Tosca Automation. And here, now I want to first calculate the length of the string. Okay, what I'm going to do, I'm going to use another buffer called length. Okay, this is my buffer. I'm defining the buffer called length here. I want to use this string to buffer value. I am storing this Tricentis Tosca automation string to a buffer called string to test. Correct? So now I want to use a string length operation. So if you see, this is the string length operation, right? And here I want to calculate the string length of what? Of buffer this one close square braces core close curly braces square braces and curly braces let's see if this is correct yeah this is correct what i'm doing i'm using string length because i have stored the string called tricentis task automation into a buffer string to test and now i want to see the length of this buffer value string length buffer string to length correct so let me quickly run this and see if it works okay first let me run this and see if it works okay run so let's go here and see if it calculates the length of the string yes 26 that's correct so it's calculating the length of the string okay including the spaces okay and then what is our next one? Next one is 
I'll do one thing. I'm gonna do uppercase. Uppercase. So here I'm gonna use string to uppercase. Curly braces. String to uppercase. See here. String to upper. Now again pass your buffer. Same buffer, string to test, close and close, that's it, yes, so now it should convert this entire text into a uppercase, so now let me create another buffer, I'm gonna store another buffer called lowercase and here again Let's call the string operation string to lower, right? This is string to lower. And here again, I'm going to call the buffer, same buffer here. Think we are missing, okay, here. Yes, so done. Now, after lowercase, I want to cover. Uh, number of occurrences what i'm gonna do i'm gonna create another buffer called number of occurrences here let me call a new operation called number of occurrences number of occurrences of what of buffer same buffer Okay, but what is the pattern that you want to see? Let's say I want to see the pattern of T. So the numeric portion called T, how many times it is occurring? So basically the T is occurred how many times in this particular string? So here close square braces. Now I need to specify T. Close curly braces. So what, what does it mean? I am asking Tosca to calculate the number of occurrences of T in the value string to buffer. That means this one. Number of occurrences. So now let us run this particular test case and see what happens. Okay. Right click and run. So now see the results. Okay. First, Tricentis Tasca automation is of length 26. And see here, Tricentis Tasca is converted to uppercase. And then the Tricentis Tasca is converted to lowercase. And then T, how many times it is occurring? Only three times. If you see, one, two, three, four five i see five times but we have specified the lower case if you see in this uh, tasca we specified the lower case of t that's why it is calculating over only lower case one two three correct so now if i want to consider i don't want to consider the case simply you can ignore the case here open pair braces close square braces and here specify it as ignore case so what it will do now it calculates the number of t's either it might be capital t or small t right so now let me run this again and see now it should come as instead of three it should give five so here let's go here and expand this Number of occurrences, if you see, 5 occurrences, correct? Capital 2 and small t is 3, right? So, hope you all understand how can you perform the different string operations by using Tricentis Tosca. If you have any queries, leave your queries in the comment box. I will try to respond to your queries. So, 
you all understand the concepts of different string operations that we covered as part of part 2. Please do subscribe to the channel, click on bell icon, you'll receive notifications whenever I publish more videos. Thank you.